Hello, my friends. Welcome back. Yesterday, we proved that, for any digit, A selected from 1 to 9, 2022 can always be represented by A for up to 19 times, together with the elementary arithmetic symbols. Today we continue to discuss this topic. For each digit, A, we will still use the elementary arithmetic operations to represent 2022. But this time our goal is to use less than 19 digits each time. Are you ready? Let's go. We start with 1. In fact, we have shown the example of using 1 for 18 times to represent 2022 yesterday, with the reason that anything divided by 1 will not change its value. Then is it possible to use 1 for less than 18 times? Yes, of course. Look here. We used 1111 for twice. 111 for twice and 11 also for twice. So we can combine them as 1111 minus 111, and plus 11, and finally multiply it by 2. What is 2? 2 is 1 plus 1. This time, we only used 1 for 11 times. Now let's check 2, which is really intuitive, as 2022 is equal to 2222 minus 200. What is 200? 200 is 222 minus 22. In the previous case, after we used 1111 minus 111 and plus 11, we have to multiply the result by 2. And this time we simply use 2222 minus 222 and plus 22, and don't even need to multiply it by anything anymore. So we use 2 only for 9 times in total. That's not the simplest case though. Let's take a look at 3 below. With 3, we need even fewer digits. Why? Because 2022 is divisible by 3 and even by 6. 2022 is equals to 6 times 337. 6 is twice of 3, and 337 is 333 plus 4. 4 is 3 plus 1, and 1 is 3 divided by 3. We showed the fact that 1 equals 3 divided by 3 yesterday, which is very useful in such problems. Whenever we meet very difficult obstacles, we may give a try to take use of this fact. Now. We only use 3 for 8 times to represent 2022. If the factorial is allowed to use in this question, we can replace the 3 plus 3 part with the factorial of 3. In that case, only 7 times of digit 3 is enough to fulfill the task. However, factorial is not allowed here, so using 8 times of 3 is already a good solution. From 4 onwards, the problem becomes not that easy any longer. We have to have a strategy in mind in order to avoid being lost in so many possible choices. What is the strategy in my mind? I may first try to use some selected digits to represent a result that is roughly close to 2000, and then fine-tune it by referring to the difference between this result and 2022. As we know, 2000 is 40 times 50. Keep these preparations in my mind, I will address them one by one starting from 4. We know that 44 is exactly in between 40 and 50. So let's start by looking at 44 times 44, which equals 1936. How big is the difference between 2022 and 1936? 2022 equals 1936 plus 86, which is 88 minus 2. If the square root is allowed, 2 is the square root of 4, which would be very nice. However, square root is unfortunately not allowed, so a more complicated algorithm is required. Remember what we just showed that, 3 divided by 3 is 1. In fact 2 is the summation of 4 plus 4, divided by 4. So 2022 is 44 times 44, plus 44 times, 4 plus 4 divided by 4, and minus 4 plus 4 divided by 4. It can also be sorted out a little bit as 44 times the sum of 44 and 4 plus 4 divided by 4, and then minus 4 plus 4 divided by 4. There are in total 10 times of 4. Let's move to 5. We may try to get close to 2000 by multiplying 55 by 55. However, since 5 is special, we may also try to get close to it by multiplying 505 by 4. Because 2020 is equal to 505 times 4. And 505 is 555 minus 55 plus 5. And 4 is 5 minus 5 divided by 5. Then we only need to add 2 by adding 5 plus 5 divided by 5. So, there are in total 12 times of 5. Then let's take a look at 6. 
66 times 66 equals 4356, which is a bit too big, roughly double. But we also know that 6 times 6 equals 36, which is about half of 66. So we may try to replace one of the two 66 with a 6 times 6. And the result of the multiplication turns out to be 2376. Still a little bit bigger. What if we replace the 66 with 6 times 6 minus 6, which is 30? It becomes 1980. That is nicer. How big is its difference from 2022? The difference is 42. Which is exactly 36 plus 6. So wonderful. Using 8 times of 6 fulfilled the task. It is 7's turn now. If we use 77, we should notice that since 77 is bigger than 66, we'd better multiply it by a number that is smaller than 30. So let's try 4 times of 7, which equals 28. And the result is equal to 2156, which is not too bad. 2156 equals 2022 plus 134, which is close to 140. 140 is 20 times 7. We don't have 20, but 3 times 7 equals to 21. So we make it by subtracting the summation of 3 7s multiplied by 7. It is equal to 2009, which is smaller than 2022 by 13. Well, 13 is twice 7 minus 7 divided by 7. So we fulfill this task with 14 times of 7. Now it's 8's turn. If we choose 88, we need to multiply it by a number that is smaller than 28. Luckily we have 3 times 8, which is equal to 24. 88 times 24 equals 2112. It is bigger than 2022 by 90. The number 90 is so good, as it is 88 plus 2. So, we fulfill the task with 10 times of 8. At the end we arrive at 9. Basing on previous experience, we use 99 times the summation of two 9s, which equals 1782. A little bit too small this time. So we replace 99 with 99 plus 9. And we get 1944. And that's a bit nicer. 1944 is 2022 minus 78. And 78 is 9 times 9 minus 3. So we use 9 for 11 times in total. In conclusion, we may use 1 for 11 times. Or 2 for 9 times. Or 3 for 8 times. Or 4 for 10 times. Or 5 for 12 times or 6 for 8 times, or 7 for 14 times, or 8 for 10 times, or 9 for 11 times, to represent 2022. Obviously, they are not the only way in each case, and not even the best way. For example, if we give a little bit more tries, it is easy to find that, with the digit 7, the task can be fulfilled with fewer digits. I am sure you have better ideas, why not leave a message and share it with us. Anyways, in each case, we did get the job done with less than 19 digits. More importantly, this strategy of first getting close to the goal approximately, and followed by fine-tuning, will play a great role in many problems. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.